Five minutes. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. And this will be both for General Hyten and General Buck. But um, there's a difference between JICSPOC and JSPOC. Uh, can you explain why each one is where it's at and what are the plans going forward, especially for JICSPOC, which is the newer of those two organizations? Yes, sir. The, for the record, the Joint Space Operations Center is at Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. It is the day-to-day -day operations center that uh, is commanded by uh, General Dave Buck, the commander of the Joint Force component under strategic command, uh, to lead the day-to-day -day operations. And they have two fundamental missions that, that drive their uh, focus. Number one, uh, they have to be organized, trained, and equipped to provide uh, space support to theater warfighters around the world. And that uh, is what they do tremendously well every day. And the second piece is they have to provide us situational awareness of everything that's going on in space. Uh, they end up uh, providing that situational awareness uh, for us and for users around the world, including international partners as well as commercial partners. Um, what we realized is that if conflict does, God forbid, extend into space someday, we need to have the capability to focus on planning for that uh, conflict. And so we decided that we'd create a, an experimental organization uh, at Schriever Air Force Base in Colorado to look at experimentation of that conflict should it uh, one day occur. Uh, we started that on the 1st of October and we continue to do that. The reason that Schriever Air Force Base was chosen uh, was really for a very simple reason, is that Schriever Air Force Base has unique connectivity. We can talk about that connectivity in detail in the classified session, but basically the, the bottom line is, is it's connected to every national security ground station in the world from Schriever Air Force Base. Uh, that connectivity is essentially important uh, so that you can respond real time to concerns and contingencies that may arise and threat in, uh, in space someday. Uh, so that's the basic reason why uh, the JICSBOC, the Joint Interagency Combined Space Operations Center, was put at Schriever Air Force Base. Okay. Uh, yeah, General. If you. Yeah, General, I, thank you, sir. I have nothing more to add. I think it was very okay. succinct to answer there and spot okay. on. All right, great. And then what's next for JICSBOC after the fourth and last experimental period in May? So after the fourth experimental period uh, in the JICSBOC, well, actually, we're going through that process right now. Uh, We've learned a great deal from the first three periods. Uh, we're continuing to look. Um, we have proposals up to the senior leadership in the department uh, now about how we transition to a future construct. Uh, you'll see in our 17 president's budget that we've requested uh, money, a small amount of money for the uh, JICSBOC as well as continuing funding for the JSPOC and the JSPOC mission system. Uh, we believe that both of those will have a significant role in the future, but that role will be determined by the senior leadership of the department as we come to the end. But those recommendations are coming forward now. Well, I'm just real excited about the potential for Department of Defense and the intelligence community working together in an organized, formal way for the first time ever when it comes to space. Well, thank you, Congressman, for that statement, because to me that is the number one lesson learned from the JICSBOC right now, is that the critical partnership we have with the, the NRO and the intelligence community, um, it's, it's better than I've ever seen it in my 35-year uh, career. Uh, it's remarkable the progress that we're making, and that partnership is critical to the future. Would anyone from the intelligence community like to add anything? Yeah, so as you know, it's, and I, I couldn't echo uh, better the words General Hyten said, but as you know, I mean, there are adversaries out there that are trying to, to deny U.S. Uh, our capabilities that we have in space and the decisive advantage that space gives us. Um, the JISPOC is an amazing uh, effort between the IC and the DOD to share information, whether that's indications and warning or whether it's on defensive kinds of maneuvers that we potentially could do um, through a whole unity of effort between the two organizations. And, and to me, from an IC perspective, the more information we have between ourselves to share information to protect our systems, the better off we'll be. So uh, it's, a, it's a great uh, opportunity. It's a great teamwork between the IC and DOD. I, w I would just quickly echo those comments on both ends. It's a, it's a synergy we haven't seen before. NGA is fully participating in all of these experiments so that we can best serve the nation. Thank you. And one last question, General Hyten. Uh, you're asking for $20 million for a ground enterprise to take 17 different interfaces for ground control systems and make one system, so training is much more uh, uh, consistent throughout the Air Force. Uh, do you want to respond to that? So the, uh, uh, it's taking 17 different uh, ground systems that we have right now and not creating a single ground system, but creating a single interface and a single common structure because today we have to train our airmen to operate 17 different systems. Uh, that's inefficient, uh, it's expensive, and it's also hard on our airmen. 
Uh, so we would like to have a common interface, a common structure that everything plugs into so that the ground systems of the future will all be built to plug into that same common interface. Uh, as we walk into that, that's what we're really talking about, the enterprise ground. That's why it's a fairly small amount of money, because it's really engineering work, system engineering analysis that has to be done to define where we're going to go in the future, because the money for the ground systems is actually in all these big programs, SIBRS, AEHF, uh, GPS. They all have significant funding for the ground. The question is, how do we actually build that ground structure in, in the future so it is a common structure for our airmen to operate on? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr.